it's Mona here at Craft Clutch and I have a fall Thanksgiving craft for you and you could use it as a centerpiece or just a decoration and I know I said I wasn't going to do another pumpkin this year I was wrong I spoke too soon I got one more we're going to turn this guy into a turkey now the first thing that you need is I have this big wooden I think they're called doll heads or something. They're unfinished. You get them at the craft store and a skewer stick. And I'm going to glue these two together and I'm going to paint it brown and that's going to be his head. This is going to be his body. Now the next thing I have done is on a piece of cardstock I drew a feather. And I'm going to cut this out and this is going to be my template. Now you can make these feathers, you know, depending on how you want to do them. You can make them out of construction paper. Um, I'm going to make them out of metal. Now I have this disposable cookie sheet from the party store and I'm going to cut, I'm thinking five feathers will do it, um, out of this cookie sheet. I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm just going to trace my feather and then I'm going to just take some scissors and cut it out. Okay, there's one and now I need to do four more. I've got the feathers cut out and I'm working on a silicone mat, which you don't have to do. You can work on a magazine or a catalog or anything like that would be fine as well. And all I am going to do is, I'm going to, and I'm using a pencil, you can use a pen, whatever you want to use, it's fine. There we go. And I'm drawing the vein down the middle and then I'm going to draw the feather lines. So there's a front of it and there's a back of it and you can decide which one you like better. And then you have the choice also, and you don't have to, you can just kind of cut along these lines and make it look a little more feathery. So there is one feather and I'm going to do the same on the other four. All right, what I have going on here is my feathers are all cut. And now I'm going to be using this metal primer. And I'm going to paint the fronts and backs of these. I'll do the front, let it dry, flip them over, do the back. And that I'm doing just because it'll help the paint adhere. And you could take these out and spray paint them if you wanted. That'd be quicker. It's a little chilly here for me to be spray painting, so I'm going to do it this way. The metal primer has dried, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint two of them maroon and three of them brown. And, I'll, and this is just acrylic paint, and I don't necessarily want it to be solid solid, because if you have some brush strokes in there, it almost gives it a little bit of a feathery texture. Our feathers are dry, and now all we need to do is attach that to the pumpkin. But I did want to show you another thing that I did. I cut out of scraps of metal a waddle, and I put a little bit of the primer on there, and a beak, and I have the primer on there too while that's drying. Um, then I'll paint them red and yellow. And then I'm going to take these bottom pieces, because I went a little long on them, and just kind of fold them together, and that will help keep them together a little bit. And then I will take a little hot glue dab, put it on, and I will glue them in place as a group. Don't worry that they're flapping forward because we will take care of that. That's what's nice about the cookie sheet is that it's bendable. But I am going to add a little bit of additional hot glue on the front of each of these, right at the base where it meets the pumpkin. And there are your big old turkey tail feathers. So the next thing we want to do is the head. And I am going to cut this off about here. So I'm going to take a skewer stick and kind of start it it's easier with the point and then I'm going to take this one that I cut off and kind of put it in there and then push them down and now I can keep them in or out as far as I want and I do want his neck to show a little bit while I'm waiting for some stuff to dry I'm just taking the end of a paintbrush 
and I'm going to put on, whoops, some eyes. I'll have to touch that up after. And I'll let that dry, then we'll put the black on there, and then we'll do the beak and the waddle. But in the meantime, we are going to work on the feet. And I have this wire from the dollar store, and I have these wooden beads. And I painted the wooden beads brown, beads brown and with the maroon um, from the tail, I did little dots on there. And all you do then is feed the wire, or the bead onto the wire, and there you have his feet. And you have some kind of toes there. Now what you could do to the legs is just have them sitting under if you want. But I think I'm actually going to insert it in. And I don't need it to be quite this long. Alright, I'm going to push it into the pumpkin. And I can adjust All it. Alright, now what we're going to do is put on the beak and the waddle. And again, I just cut those out of the metal. They're not quite dry. I should not be doing this quite yet, but you know how that goes. So I'm going to push that on there a little bit, hold it, and then I have the waddle. And I'm going to bend that a little bit so it covers there. Put a dab of the glue on there. Again, you don't have to use the hot glue. So here is your pumpkin turkey for Thanksgiving. I hope you like them. Hope you give them a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Happy crafting and happy Thanksgiving, everyone.